Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So we have a package from Urban EDC. So this is going to be for the next week's drop. Uh, for me, it's Saturday, but you'll see this uh, right before the What's Hot video. So welcome to the What's Hot video for uh, July 19th, I think. And uh, let's see what we got. I'll try to make it quick because I always drag this out and then... I got I show you them again, and I know it's annoying. I got the uh, Stout B2 prototype from Devo Knives. So if you guys are looking to pick up one of these, we're doing a pre-order at the end of the month, early August, and they're going to be 325 in Vanex blade steel. You can get this purple haze version with purple collar. There's going to be an Arctic. Ooh, got some of my pants in there. Uh, there's going to be an Arctic storm with blue collar. Belt Satin Blades, there's going to be an Arctic Storm with a Stonewash Man X Blade. And then we're going to do a two-tone version uh, that looks just like this guy right here. They will not have filler tabs. They're going to be left-handed or right-handed. So you can get a full lefty knife or a full righty knife. The lefties will only come in this purple with Belt Satin and the Arctic with Stonewash. So anyway, <clears throat> pitch over, DeboKnives.com. Check out our uh, newsletter. Looks like we got some cool stuff. Love me some One-Eyed Ghost. Eddie's a good dude. Daily Customs. I think this I already have. So, um, But we got some cool stuff in here. So I'm really excited. Um, this right here is going to be the Kvist Vanish. Uh, it says Inlay? Sagaha? Okay. I think this is just what I have already. So I'm just going to take a peek. And then we can uh, put it right back and I'll show you mine. Oh no, this is completely different. Whoa, cool. All right, let's uh, start it off with this guy then. That's cool. All right, let me grab mine. Shit, now I gotta buy another Vanish. God damn. Just kidding, I'm excited. So this is actually an inlay. What? So look at that, you have the bronzed high. And then you have the black wash, and you have an inlaid Sagaha pattern. Versus the one I have that is bronze, and then a full Sagaha pattern. Interesting. And is this milled? I think this might be milled, but it, I think it might be milled, guys. Where this is definitely lasered on. Very cool. Very, very cool. Look at that. So these must be dropping, obviously, on the 19th. That's so cool. Shit, I do not need another one of these. Um, I'm not sure if it's enough of a change for me to get it. Ah, man, now I'm, like, torn. I really like this one. The one thing I don't love about it is that it's lasered, so it's, like, white Sagaha versus being, like, milled in, which would look fucking baller um which is what i think this is you can see the difference right you can see that depth there that you don't get here right let's zoom in on it ah oh, shit i might need one of these god damn it. um yeah that's sexy as hell so they're dropping these i don't know if they have the stonewash one as well um, but yeah, I don't think this one's going home. I think this one's going to be, uh, dropping right into this slip right here and sticking around. And then I'll probably, uh, keep this or sell this one, but the walk and talk on this one broke in so well, you know, this one oops, feels about the same though. So it just needs to work itself in and it's going to be fantastic. See, is there any play? No play at all. Centering. Ooh, nicely centered. Yeah, they're very close. Twenty CV. Very cool. Very very cool. So that's going in the slip. This is a custom Northwoods leatherwork slip, and um, this one was actually made by uh, for urban you see they sold them with these knives so i don't know if they got more of those made uh for this drop but that would be cool so we have the awesome 
Vanish. I did not know a new Vanish was coming. Oh, that's so cool. Um, all right, I'm going to set that aside. I'll leave this out. <sighs> Jacob, you're killing me, brother. You're killing me. All right. Put this away. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably be buying that. I mean, I'm definitely buying it. Um, very cool. I'll have to talk to Matt because I gave Matt shit. I was like, dude, you sent me that knife like five times. Because I've literally had like four of these sent to me. I kept one. I think I yeah, bought one and then I I um I like facilitated sales of the other two when they came in. Um and now this one. Man, that is sexy. Man, initially I didn't think I liked this inlay, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Fucking love it. All right, I'm going to shut up. So this is a Daily Customs sack. Oh, man, another gorgeous piece. God damn. This is titanium, looks like, in a camo pattern. That is gorgeous. Does it tell it's on here? Just says uh, multi-cam black pattern. I don't know where. I mean, just this. Oh, it's aluminum. Okay, it's aluminum, so it's an anodizing. So it has a... Yeah, yeah, it's got a good weight to it. You have screws here. This is my biggest issue i'd say with daily customs issue just a nitpick for me personally that there's no clip you know um they tap it assuming you're gonna put a clip on it but then don't sell you the clip with it it should just come with the clip and cost more or not have the screws because like what if i want this and i don't want the clip well now i'm stuck with these stupid holes so i don't know that's just my take on it um, I'm, I love their work. I just wish it came with a clip. It comes with the freaking screws for them. Um, but no, no, uh, clip. So this is a, sorry, this is a Huntsman 91.2 aluminum multicam black. So I think I actually have a Huntsman guys. I think this is the Huntsman. No, sorry. I have the, what is this guy? Stainless, does it tell you? I have the uh, Officer Suisse that it says that on here. Yeah. Uh, which one is this, guys? You'll know. I thought it was the Huntsman. I really did. But um, this one has the corkscrew and mine has the uh, mine has the uh, screwdriver, which I would much prefer. Although I do like the um, I do like the corkscrew for one reason. Um, you can, I mean, if you can open it. <clears throat> You can order these uh, little eyeglass screwdrivers that are this big, and they screw into the top of the corkscrew. And then you have a little eyeglass um, screwdriver that comes in handy. The mini screwdrivers are very handy. Um, we have our bottle openers and can opener situation here. We have our main blade. Let's see if I can get them all out. Uh, what is this? Oh, are those nice scissors? No, those look like baller scissors. Dudes, we got some sick scissors. Look at that. Um, we have our secondary blade. Damn, my thumbnails are so bad. If you guys didn't know, my nails are horrible from, um, all of the, um, knife abuse they've taken they're just super weak um i think i got everything oh no 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 there's a saw in here too i need like an extraction tool i know those exist we have a saw see anything else i think i got everything on that side and then obviously we have uh, the corkscrew we have the all oh, i can never get this thing out the hook, parcel hook sorry um i struggle so hard with this one so i'm there's no way i can get that out but there is a parcel hook and then there is i'm trying to be careful because that saw could come down at any moment ah man i just can't get under there the, the, these type of knives are not for me um but there's an all right here as well so you have an all a parcel hook um and then you have the main blade the small blade the saw the bottle opener can opener combination the skizzers, and then you have the corkscrew as well. And of course, uh, because you went with the daily customs version, you lose your um, you lose your tweezers and your uh, 
toothpick. So there's your tweezers and your toothpick. Those come off. But yeah, I just struggle with the... Um, see, my awl I can get out. Usually once you get it out a couple of times, it's not bad. Um, but the parcel hook I always struggle with. Do I have a saw? Yeah, I do have a saw. And my brother got me this for my birthday, I think. Oh no, this is a different one. So I do have a Huntsman. Where is that thing? This is the wrong one. This is the one I got from Mark Kaufman, I think. I might have it in my truck then. Uh, really? I thought I had... Let me see. I really thought I had it somewhere. I swear I was just looking at it. But maybe I was looking at that one thinking that was it. Hmm. Yeah, it must be. Anyway, I have one somewhere. So I do have that one. This one. Uh, but it's a cool one. It's uh, obviously a one, two, was it a three, four layer? Um, a little too big for my taste, personally. I, you know, I just want the essentials, and I'm good to go. Uh, I'm more of a, a Leatherman type of guy when it comes to a multi-tool. I want the folding pliers with a few things on it. I don't need anything crazy. But it's a very cool piece, super popular, obviously. And you guys, if you're interested, you're already interested, and you're going to buy it. So, um, wish it came with the clip. But anyway, we have that guy. Sorry, that was a... Long-winded. I said I'd be shorter about this. OEG Keystone Titanium Cigar. So I actually had a couple of these. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, I went to a, a, sh a local show. That's where I actually met Eddie from uh, One-Eyed Ghost. And um, I bought two of these. Because somebody asked me to, and then the guy didn't buy them. He's like, can you give me one? And then I was like, yeah. And um, I bought two because I was like, you know, you know, he might want a different one or... Um, I might want one, or somebody else might want one, or whatever, so I bought two, and he didn't end up buying, I don't think, anything that I picked up for him, um, but I got to meet Eddie, and that was worth it, um, but this is a Keystone, it's a bottle opener, Eddie was very clear about that at the show, he's like, no, dude, it's a bottle, I was like, is that a nut, he's like, no, that's a bottle opener, bro, that is not a nuck, I don't know where you're getting that idea, bro, um, but yeah, this is a nuck, so you can, you know, rabbit punch people uh not very comfortable as one to be honest and most of us know that it's carried with a lanyard and then it's used as a bottle opener um all you cool cats out there with your pocket trash aren't punching people uh but yeah hey yeah, maybe you are i don't know looks like it has a little urban adc motif on here look at that that's very cool um got some waves on it i guess this is a uh exclusive how about that yeah cigaha motif cool very cool yeah shout out to eddie really really good dude great product check it out and lastly but absolutely not least another version of the baby barlow and this one says darkened tie ah man when he told he said dark tie i think and i was like "Ooh, it's all zirku tie but it's just darkened oh this is the one i have all right well i'm not even gonna open it i don't want to i mean i'm pretty sure it's the one i have <laughs> yeah this is the one i have all right so i'm not even gonna open it because i don't want to you know they can sell this as brand new if, if i don't open it um yeah really really cool Love this version of the uh, Baby Barlow. One of my favorite knives of last year. Um, I don't think there's anything different about it. I really don't want to open it. It's, I'm sure it doesn't have a satin blade. It's the only thing. If it had like a belt satin blade, I'd be more inclined to buy another one. But considering it looks identical, I think I'm going to stick with uh, this one. Let me take one last look. Just see. Is it G10? Yeah, G10 inlay. Yep, stone wash blade. So, this one is safe to send back for them to sell as brand new. But this is what you're looking at. So, they're dropping these. I don't think it's a pre-order. I think it's a drop because it's an existing version designed by Justin Lundquist. Absolutely fantastic knife, guys. If 
I mean, all this stuff is really, really cool, but I gotta say, they have two of my favorite knives um, coming out. I mean, they have the Vanish and they have the Baby Barlow dropping. Smaller knives, but two of my favorites um, in the last year. Really wonderful knives. I've had, I don't even know how many Vanishes I've had. I think I've had like seven or eight at this point. It's very affordable. Um, for the materials, you get titanium and 20 CV, and they're usually like 150 bucks ish, maybe less, maybe a little more. I don't know with the inlay. Um, and yeah, and then the baby Barlow, I think is like this one might be like 250. I think, not positive. Uh, well worth it, honestly. This is, I believe, also in 20. That might be M390. Um, just one of the best. Uh, fidgety knives small fifth pocket knives but it doesn't feel small like it is small obviously but it doesn't have that like it's too small for my hand feel that a lot of knives have because you have to manipulate them however like studs or flipper you know but with this you just hold it like anything and just flip the top so it just feels like any other knife you can just hold and i can get a full grip on this thing I mean, it's insane. This knife is fantastic. You're gonna hear me say it again in the next part with the face cam, and uh, I'll go through everything dropping this week. But there you go. That's the awesome stuff coming at you for the gear drop for July 19th. Check it out, links down below. Definitely use those links. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate that um, very, very much. So I love you guys, and uh, over to the schmuck. Peace.